just being chastened. When you get into sin, when you start doing things that are sinfully wrong, as a believer, as a child of God, you can expect to be chastened. And that is one way of correction. Sometimes we need to be corrected because you've gotten off the path and you may not even realize it. And sometimes when people get off in a sin, sometimes they realize what they're doing is wrong and then that's, that's even worse when you're just willfully sinning. But sometimes people just kind of lose focus a little bit and aren't really fully aware that they're getting off into areas that they shouldn't be going. I mean, this happens. And we all got to kind of do our best to make sure we're, we're, we're staying on that right path. But when you start veering off and you start getting into sin, that's when the Father's going to step in and chasten you and discipline you, punish you. And we need to be able to receive that disciplining, again, with a humble attitude and a humble spirit. There's two ways that a child can respond when they're being punished, when they're being chastened, when they're being disciplined. One is to maybe cry, say they're sorry, and, you know, I'm not going to do that again, Dad. Right? That would be the right way to receive their disciplining. The wrong way is to double down on their actions and just say, well, I'm just going to do it again. Or as soon as he's done with this, I'm going to go back behind his back and try to be sneaky about it or whatever and just try not to get caught, right? There's two different attitudes that you can have after you've been chastened. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse number 5. The Bible says, Thou shalt also consider in thine heart that as a man chasteneth his son, so the Lord thy God chasteneth thee. Therefore, thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways and to fear him. So knowing that God is going to chasten us the same way that a father would chasten their own son, for that very reason, we need to make sure that we keep God's commandments. Don't break his rules. Don't do anything to make God angry, that, that we're going to transgress God's law. It makes, it, it, I mean, it just makes perfect sense. It's very simple. And the Bible is likening being chastened by God unto disciplining children. Now, turn to Proverbs chapter 13, because we, I, I like bringing this up, especially in today's society. It just needs to be, I think, thrown out there more than it needed to be 50 years ago or 100 years ago on, on rearing children. And this is just one more reason why it's so important to discipline our children right. The Bible is likening a father disciplining his son or chastening his son to God chastening us. When you start changing the methods of disciplining your children based on what the culture is saying around you instead of what God's word says, you're not going to fully understand the chastening of the Lord when it comes. Because I'll tell you what, God doesn't change his discipline measures to what the psychologists of today are going to say. Yeah, right. God doesn't have a time out for you when you get off into sin. That's not the way that God is going to chasten you. Amen. And look, and, and you know, it sounds kind of funny, but this is important because when God puts a smackdown on your life because you're doing something wrong, you're doing things you shouldn't be, you can't act all surprised about it. You need to understand I'm receiving what I ought to receive because, you know, I, I did wrong. I got off into sin the same way that it's not some shock to my children when, when I paddle their rear. They know what they do and they can fully expect it, especially the older ones at this point in their life. They, they know exactly what's going to happen. Now, it doesn't make it any <laughs> any more or any less painful, right? But they at least know what to expect and it's, it's not just totally catching them off guard to where it's like, what are you doing? Like if I never, if I never disciplined my child correctly and then just started doing it, and, and this is part of the problem with people who don't start off with their children from a younger age because then it is just like, well, what are you doing? 
And that causes that could cause more problems. It's harder to to institute those changes. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it, but I mean, of course, we should follow the Bible. And if, if you didn't do it from, the, from early on, it's time to just start where you need to start. But the problem is it's, it gets harder to um, get the proper response from the discipline when you don't start early enough.